from this egg to this chick in only three weeks. All right, so today's a big day. I got the baby quail sitting right here. I got the adults sectioned off so I can load them in this side. And uh, we're gonna see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, they're getting big and I'm getting tired of uh, cleaning them every other day. So putting them in there and hopefully they don't come running out and over the side. But they should be set to go from the research I've done. They're three weeks old, they're ready to go in with the adults. And uh, they shouldn't cause any problems. 15 of them in here. And in here there are 11. So this more than doubles my population. Although, uh, likely, in all likelihood, uh, I'm going to end up selling some of the babies anyway. But for now, this is where they're going to go. So, wish me luck. Here we go. I'll try closing this door. A bit. Maybe this is the better angle. And then, I'll close the door if I have to. And, uh, try two at a time. Take up the divider. Okay, they can mingle. All right, let's just take a peek in. I don't want anybody falling out the side. Look at that. See them all? There's a couple adults in there. You can see them in the sandbox. So as you can see, there's the chicks grew quite a bit. They're not too far off from the adults, considering they're only three weeks old. And the adults aren't picking on them, so that's good. Zoom in a bit here. Again, I gotta be careful. I don't want anybody falling out over the side. And there's a few chicks in the sand. Oh, I'm just trying to get out. But, and uh, any extra males will have to be removed once they become a breeding age because two males I have, Gadnuck and Stallone, they won't deal with other males. And I don't want a, a bloodbath. They, they look harmless enough, but they are fully capable of <laughs> injuring each other and uh, pecking out eyes and oh, making a whole mess of things. So we'll have to be careful. There's a little yellow over there in the back corner, still the smallest, and I'm really hoping that little yellow is a hen so that I can keep her. Uh, if she's a male, then, well, hopefully she tastes good, right? Or she gets sold, one or the other. But there we go. This is, I mean, it's not really the end of our journey. I can make, I'll make more videos about the quail, but from incubator to hutch in three weeks and believe it or not in another three weeks the chicks will be laying eggs of their own isn't that incredible so just six weeks it takes to grow from a chick to a functioning adult there's a couple of them there chasing flies oh that one got one. Oh, my hands in the way that one just got a fly oh and you hear that i had a commenter the other day ask if gadnuck still makes his little uh whirring sounds, his little mating calls or whatever they are. And he's been mostly silent for the last several months since all the other quail came in. But I just heard him do it now. So he's gonna assert himself. And I guess that about wraps it up. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I don't know that I'll come back with a video about the quail next week. I might uh, take a break. Uh, we'll see.